Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's segment of Breath of Fire Circle Wednesdays. I am Breath Master Aaron Motley, your global community elder, bringing you the healthy. Yep, yep. So, y'all know what time it is. Everybody who's Okay, what's up, Miss Journey Purpose? Journey's Purpose. How you doing, sis? Let's get this breathe on. Okay, so if you think you tried, well, if you tried and you think you're not doing it right, let me say this. If you're making the attempt, that is how you get to the point of quote unquote appropriate. It is not right, it is not wrong. It's a matter of appropriate or inadequate. So, in this process, the breath of fire is done from expressing the breath from the abdomen. So, just like if you're blowing your nose, except you don't want to do it so forcefully where phlegm flies out. You just want to do it forceful enough where the air comes out of your body and you hear, hear the sound of through the nostrils. And if you put your hands down in front of you, elbows at your side, down in front of your body, and you feel the air hit your hands, then you know that it's adequate enough. So you just repeat that, and you get a lot, little light rhythm. And that rhythm is going to get you a certain pace. And the breath of fire is basically done at a pace where it brings heat into the abdominal region. So if you're doing it consistently and you're feeling it on your hands, then you're doing it right. If you do it once, you're doing it right. Feeling it on your hands, squeezing the abdomen. You're not pushing from the chest. You're not, you're not forcing it out from here. You're using the thrust from the abdomen. And it's called breath of fire because when you do it consecutively for a number of times, you're going to feel the heat build up in the abdominal core. You're going to feel those muscles with each breath. And over time, you're going to feel the heat that's generated from that pumping action of pressing the abdomen muscles in and massaging the internal organs in a consistent fashion. So
Mouth is closed. Now, if you can't do it as fast as me because you have not conditioned yourself, then you want to do it at your, at your pace that's going to get you the use of the abdominal muscles, not the chest, but the abdominal muscles and the expressing of the breath to the point where you can feel it on your hands and you do it consistently. You got that? You get a nice rhythm? Get a nice pace. If you can't do it so fast like me, do it slowly. And it's an even swap. When you push the air out, you want to allow the abdomen to relax. And when it relaxes, it's going to create a vacuum. As it expands, it's going to pull oxygen through the nostrils. And you're going to gently assist it with a slight sniff. So it's a, and a slight sniff. And you may not hear the sniff so much because you're focusing on the thrust and the exhalation and a gentle sniff. So another way you can adapt to doing this with addressing the pacing issue, making the sound engage the abdominal muscles the same as if you're going with the nostrils, the mouth closed. So the ch, 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 except you're not going to feel it in your hands unless you put your hands in front of you. Ch, 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 because the breath is coming out of the mouth not out of the nostrils. So, so for those of who are new, I explained several, several episodes ago that when you go, you ignite the abdominal muscles, you use all of the abdominal muscles, and it expresses the breath through the mouth using that sound of the letter H, the, actually that last syllable, syllable of the letter H, because when you go H, H, you left off, leave off the A part in the beginning, or if you were in England, you would say H. So they would feel the sound throughout. Since we're here in the U.S., we say H. So drop the A and just go H, H, and feel the, feel the breath on the hand. Allowing that sound of the letter H to engage the abdominal muscles. Now it's easier to get a pace and a rhythm when you're doing the letter H sound more so than when you're doing the exhalation through the nostrils if you haven't conditioned yourself to be able to do it with the nostrils. So let's put our hands in front of our body. Elbow at your side, hand in front of your body, about 10 to 12 inches, and you're just going to go. Notice my abdominals. You can even put the other hand on the abdominal muscles so you can feel them engage. When you're doing this, you want to exhale the final breath with uh, extended exhalation by going So 
So we're going to do 30 breaths using the ch sound. And when we get to the last breath, when we fully extend that breath, we're going to hold the, the breath with the lungs empty. Okay? That way you can feel what those muscles feel like. Some of you haven't used those muscles in a while, so you, it's unfamiliar with how they feel. So this is going to engage, re-engage, and reintroduce you to how your abdominal muscles feel when they are exercised. So I'm going to do 30 breaths. And each time I get to 10, I'm going to emphasize it with, instead of just going, I'm going to go ch -ch -ch on the 10th breath. Okay? So, curl the tongue back, as with the breath master technique, put the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, curl it back, and let's inhale. Launch two thirds way full, breath of fire. Uh, or exhale with the ch sound. Extend the exhalation. Hold the breath. Do not inhale. Feel those abdominal muscles. Yeah, they still there. They work. They work. <laughs> He's on Louise. You feel those abdominal muscles? Let's do that one more time. Place the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Curl it back and inhale. Hand, lower, hand on the abdomen, one hand out in front of the body. Release the tongue, drop the jaw, exhale with a... Start over again. Give it a tongue, move the mouth, curl it back, inhale. Release the tongue, drop the jaw, and And hold. Yep. Give us some more energy. Tap those muscles. Wake them up. One more time. Tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Curl it back. Inhale. This time we're going to go to... Let's do 60. Pull the tongue back, inhale, and exhale with the Extend it some more. Squeeze and hold. Inhale. Now when you fully express the breath after that little bit of vigorous work, and you extend it, extend, extend, extend the exhalation, you should be able to, once you hold, slightly lift your chest as if you're inhaling slightly and tighten the abdominal muscles and you, they should go inward. Well, no, when you lift the chest, when you inhale and lift the chest, the, the abdomen should go inward. Then when you squeeze the abdomen, it'll come down forward. What's up, nephew? We're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna turn to the front this time so y'all can see the abdominal work. Nephew, I want you to get this in, okay? So, hand up front, 
One hand on the belly, tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, curl it back, inhale. You do 60 times again. And exhale with the Squeeze and hold. Lift the chest slightly. Inhale without inhaling. Squeeze the abdomen. Let's try that one more time. If you can't do all of that, of course, you know, some people, I mean, it took me years to get to that. Don't think that you can do this overnight. Maybe you can. Maybe just that fit. I don't know. Anyway, so the prep, preparation for being able to do the, the stomach thing like this, so it's called the nolly, or I call it the stomach or, or abdominal wave. So you want, you want to be able to draw that abdomen in. Now this is uh, some in-depth energy work. This is something that a lot of the um, yogis do when they go up in the mountains in the cave. Oh, anyway, it ain't that big of a deal. Y'all, y'all can do it. I can do it. So, tip of the tongue, roof of the mouth, curl it back. Inhale. Release the tongue, drop the jaw, and... Hold, lift. And breathe. Let's do that one more time. We're just going to do the drawing the abdomen in. This is the prep phase, okay? Hand on your abdomen, hand on front of the body. Oh, and every time I get to a 10, I'm going to emphasize the sound with a ch, and I'm going to put one finger up. That's how I get, no wonder I get to 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, and so on, okay? Hand on the abdomen. So this is how you're going to do when you're doing it yourself, when you're practicing later on today, first thing in the morning, and so on and so on and so forth. Do this twice a day or more for the next strong until I see you next Wednesday, okay? Hand down front of the body, tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth, curl it back and inhale. Release the tongue, drop the jaw, and exhale with the Push it all out and hold. Lift the chest.
Okay, that's pretty much it for the day, y'all. Now, so you got your practice. Curl the tongue back, inhale, exhale with a ch. 60 times each time you get to a 10, you emphasize the ch. Put up a finger until you get to 50, and then when you get to 60, you extend the exhalation. Ch. Hold the breath, do not inhale, lock it in, and then lift the chest. Make sure the abdominal muscles are seriously engaged. The longer you extend that exhalation, the more the abdominal muscles are going to be engaged. So you should be able to automatically lift the chest and bring the abdomen in like so. So when you do that, repeat without inhale, inhaling several times to get your body accustomed to bringing the abdomen in. Okay. Then after a period of time, probably by next strong, you should be able to not only inhale and lift, but once you inhale and lift, then squeeze the abdomen, abdomen even tighter and the abdominal muscles will project forward, like so. How you doing, Debbie? Good to see you. Let me wave at some folks. Okay, so let's end this live session. Thank you all for joining me. Appreciate your time and the opportunity to be of service to give you all some um, additional tips on